Hi, I have this which is bigger problem on the board. We're comparing 2 to the 225th versus 21 to the 50th. And at first, this looks like a problem because I usually want to find a good point of comparison, but the problem is there's no power of 2 that's really that close to 21. Um, we have, I just have two values to look at. We know that 2 to the 4th is 16. And 2 to the 5 equals 32. So we can try those to start. So we know that 2 to the 4th is less than 21. So that gives us a starting point. And let's just raise each side to 50. Because that will get us to match that exponent. So we know that 21 to the 50 is greater than 2 to the 4th to the 50, which is just 2 to the 200. But that doesn't really work because we want to compare to 2 to the 225th. Now we could, you know, we could add, like we could multiply 2 to the 25th on both sides of this. But that's not really going to get us anywhere because then it's hard to know. Now we've got our 2 to the 225th on this side, but we don't know how to equate this with this. So I think we're going to bail on that first approach. But maybe we can find a way where the 2 to the 225 is greater. So we'll say we know that 2 to the 5th, which is 32, is actually greater than 21. Then again, let's raise it to the 50th power. And so we can say that 2, if we multiply this in, we get 2 to the 250 is greater than 21 to the 50. Uh, again, though, that's a problem is we want, this is not the same as this. And like if, if we had, if we could say something like if this was less, if this was 2 to the 200, if we could say that, we'd be all set because that's less than, 2 to the 225th. But when we get an expression, when we have this, it's inconclusive because 2 to the 250 is greater than 2 to the 225. But we don't have a relationship. We can't say that it's greater than 21 to the 50th. So I'm going to reject that. We need to try something completely different. So one thing we haven't looked at, we've been looking at powers of 2 to compare to 21. We haven't been looking at powers of 21 because it's a bigger number and it's going to get messy fast. But what we can do is just look at 21 squared. Um, so 21 squared is 441. Then I guess, so the power is too close to that. We have 2 to the 8 is 256 and two to the nine is 512. So they're still not great, but I'm gonna try this one and see what happens. So we can say two to the nine is greater than 21 squared because this is equal to 512. Okay. Then what we can do, if two to the nine is greater than 21 squared, we can take each side and we can raise it to uh, the 25th power. Oh wait, sorry. Take both sides and raise to the 25th power. And then this side is actually equal to 2150. And this side is actually equal to two to the 225. So that works. We can say that two to the 225 is greater than 2150.